Hey there, I'm Anthony and welcome to Juked, America's premier high school sports network. Want to know the great thing about signing up to be a member of Juked? It's always free. You can upload footage and get paid. Leave comments and get the latest updates and contest info. So sign up today and start making some money. My name is Jack Perriman and welcome to Kent Denver Athletic Training. The three top uh, injuries that I see uh, during football season are the contusion injuries just because of all the trauma, the wrist injuries just because of all the blocking and the hitting in that area, and number three would be ankle sprains. For contusions, uh, the preventative measures would be, of course, to protect that area, whether it be some type of foam padding or other type of protective device. Uh, the wrist injuries would be some type of taping uh, to prevent that motion or to reduce or restrict that motion. The sprained ankles, of course, is to uh, rehab them, uh, get them back as strong as possible, and again, do some type of bracing and or taping. The three most common injuries I see in field hockey are uh, back problems, just the way they bend over all the time, shin splints, uh, where they're running a lot and uh, the footwear that they, they use. The last one uh, would be the trauma to the face area, whether it's a stick or a ball. To rehab the uh, back injuries, of course, uh, we do a lot of core exercises to strengthen the core to prevent any more back problems. Uh, for shin splints, um, of course, uh, getting them out of uh, maybe cleats or reducing their running, uh, doing the ice, anti-inflammatories and that sort of thing. And of course the facial injuries, that is just basically time. 